welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Jeans, are you ready to uh, do some dates? Oh yeah. You're, you realize we're going to do this show, right? Is that what we're doing? Oh, yeah. I thought we were just having fun. Hanging out. Woke. This is Woke. Woke. By Sounds Made the Beat. We played his stuff before. It's good. It is good. I'm in Crawling Me, North Carolina this weekend. <laughs> just Friday and Saturday. That's a good name for it. Crawl in me. Crawl in me, also known <laughs> as Raleigh. Um, following weekend, Loose in Herville, uh, Kentucky. Lo- loose and her, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you're in the Lose, in the Loserville, in no, the Ville, they, some people from there called it that. Yeah, but I like Louisville. It's nice. I do too. Um, that's Top Dog's hometown. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So uh, L- Louisville, Louisville from Louisville, buddy. I'm drawing big tits you on you. Wipe down. Yeah, thanks, babe. Oh wow, that looks They're funny. They're huge tits. Those are huge. You got it. Um, so crawling me. Lose Herville and then fill her up, <laughs> Delphi. It's finally coming up. Uh, four big shows at the Trocadero Theater and fill her up, Delphi. Uh, there's only one show that has tickets left. So if you if you want it, don't wait. They will not be there by the time that that rolls around the third week in November. I'm drawing tiny little titties on me, like pert ones. Doesn't make sense. You got big old big old cans. I do. West Her Balls Beach, Florida. <laughs> the Improv. First week in December. Good one. Um, and then New Year's Eve in Orlando. I'll tell you this. New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve in Mom Lando. <laughs> After the New Year, I go on a crazy tour. I'm not going to list all the dates, but they're at TomSegura.com. I will tell you just that we've added a show in Minneapolis, and we're adding a show in Boston at the Wilbur. Tickets for that second show go on sale Friday, this Friday. Jeans, what do you got? Not as much as you. I'm going <laughs> to close out my year. I'm doing um, the DC Improv December uh, 9th and 10th. A quick, uh, quick one out and then back. And I'm working on another string of one-nighters for 2017. Uh, it's being worked on, so I can't announce anything yet. But yeah. I had so much fun doing the main Mother Goddess tour that I think it's. I think I got to go back What out. you're building is going to be very cool, though, when oh, you it, announce it. It's so fun. Yeah. I love doing this model. This it's is good. the way, dude, it is bro. Good. All right. I love your gold chain. You know, it's a memory of uh, <laughs> J Master J. You're wearing the Adidas. Yeah. I got the, the dookie rope on. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. I call it dookie rope. Yeah, it is. Seriously? Yeah. Dookie rope, damn. Yeah. Rest in peace, J Master J. I no, I love them. I feel like, you know, I you inspired know him in so many ways <laughs> to be a great DJ. He did say that before he passed. I remember that. He's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Dad, you, know what I'm saying? you know, cold, cold cut crew. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I'm like, Psh, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into this. You ready to go? Um, I feel like we haven't done this show in weeks. Why does it feel like that? I think because we did tape. Well, we did. Didn't we do two one day or something? We did. We got ahead of ourselves because of, of our travel. That's right. So it has been like it's a, been a while. minute, son. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. <laughs> I love this so much. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get into it in a second here. <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's so great. Oh, oh my Don't god. Don't bring anyone love into this. Yo, mom in the fuck is that? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Look who's here.
Can I be sincere for a moment? Yeah. So these past yeah. three weeks of shows have just been outrageously fun for me. Great. I mean, I just want to say thanks to the people that have come out. Yo, Charlotte. Fans, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Charlotte, Manfred Disco, and Jude Dork Titties. Yeah. Killer. Have been just killer fun for me, man. It's really. the best. We have the best fans. That run that I just did of One Nighters, yeah. it was like bananas fun everybody i met after the shows was a huge your mom's house you're right about that and not only are, are we just saying that you don't understand how often like on these all the time but even these last three weeks where the shows have been like packed and that the staff and management goes you bring out the best the, people. they say that to me yeah. too yeah like, your fans are the best, the best. they're like they're, i know they're polite. Yeah. They're, Intelligent. Yeah. They're they're <laughs> drinking. They're tipping people. Yeah, right. they're, they're civilized yeah. people. They just can't believe it. So I just want to say thanks because um, it is really fun to be able oh, to go yeah. out, do your shows that you know, that you that you do, but have just great crowds supporting you. So yeah. thanks everybody. Yeah, I have some updates um, on Indy and Cincy, but I after we get into this, first of oh, all- Oh, we can do these first, because we'll get into this in a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, you know what I love is that Fief just yeah. had a kissy attack. Yeah. Like sometimes he just goes, okay, love me. Yeah. And then he I demands know. and I pick he's him up and now he's dog. resting his his chin on my arm. He's such a sweet boy. I, I want to clone him too before I know. he dies. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> to clone your favorite dog. Yeah. Kind of worth it when you think about it. I, mean, I think when you, but the thing is their personality <laughs> won't be the same. Are you sure that's what they said? Well, I mean, how could it be? If well, it's a clone. Because he doesn't have the same experiences though. He doesn't have the same trauma. Right. It's like people. So what we could do is get the clone yeah. and then just send them, like give them to a real bad family for a few years. <laughs> Send him to a kill so, no, shelter. We'll pay them more too. He'll be like, we'll give you another twenty five grand. <laughs> you to be shitty to, be shitty this to dog. him for a few years, <laughs> and then we'll get him. So then we'll be fifty thousand in, and then like we'll get him like all skittish back. We're right. Like, all right. This is the whole FIFA experience again. The FIFA, the total FIFA experience, and he yeah. has to get sick with like four viruses. Oh when God. We, the minute we get him, don't even remind. Remember me. Remember how they lied to us the the kill shelter? Yeah. And they go, he just has the uh, doggy whooping cough. Whatever the fuck that's. <laughs> called and we took him home and he had about four viruses it was terrible terrible and terrible dog almost, we took the dog to the pet hospital and they they had a sign a do not resuscitate Come on, man. Let's i mean not redo it I, no I but listen redo it. but the bright the bright you know thing at the, at the end of the tunnel is that he's the best dog and he's happy and healthy and none mm, of that i know mattered because he's the best now to plantanito no 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 you want to go there not, not yet not yet okay um, Past weekend, Judor Titties. I was with Full Charge. Love Full Charge. Uh, so Thursday we do our Thursday now show. Wait, is he still doing his podcast, The Full Charge Power Hour? As far well, you know, it's funny you ask because he is on the road right now, um, doing a bunch of road gigs. So mm -hmm. you should check him out online. Follow him on Twitter or whatever if you haven't. I know he's got a bunch of gigs coming up. Like we're doing Raleigh together this week. What um, did you call it? Raleigh, crawling me. Yeah. So, but we did our Thursday show and afterwards we had dinner with Ari Schaefer. Mm. Um, How's Ari? Ari's great. How's He's, his butthole? I think it's fine. He's shooting a special in a couple weeks. Again? Jeez. Yeah. Um, really ambitious idea too. What's the idea? It's uh, like a, almost like two, uh, half and half, like he has like 40 minutes on one subject. Then he drops a sheet or something, changes shirts, and does 40 minutes on another subject. Cool. Well, yeah. Let's see that. That'll be interesting. That's what I'm saying. It's an ambitious do, idea. Do, where is it going to go? Do we know? I don't know. I think it's going to Comedy Central. Okay. Um, I mean, he's part of that network, you know, because he has this. Oh, is right. There. Right, right. So, <laughs> so he's going to be there, I think. Well, that's but, exciting. Yeah, I'm really happy for him. He's going to be in Austin. I don't know if there's still tickets available. but Momston? He, if, you, if you can get them, he'll be at Cap City doing the special. Um, so I did, I did a podcast with him too, but on Thursday we just, mm -hmm. we did, Matt and I did the show. We go meet Ari Schaefer for dinner. Mm -hmm. We have dinner. Then he's got uh, a spot at the cellar. So Matt and I were like, well, go ahead. You know, we're, we're, we're just, we were having new whatever post dinner drink or something, mm -hmm. you know? So, and he texts me, he goes, come over. He goes, we're, we're, you're not far from us. So just walk over. It's a nice walk. So we're like, all right, we'll walk over. So we're walking down Bleecker Street, heading towards uh, the cellar, and the most amazing, wonderful thing happens. Hmm. 
the door to a bar opens and a fight, two guys spill out on the street. Isn't that magic? There's there's something so exciting about fights. Yeah, you know, I agree. And, you know, I don't like, I don't want to see brutal violence. Like, I don't want to see someone's head kicked open Mm -hmm. and see them have a seizure. But just a fight, a battle. Like a bar drunk fight. Yeah, where like, you know, a good shot, a good punch, punch, you know, because I don't want to see devastation. But a fight is exciting because it's something primal it's about rare it. rare and yeah. special. Yeah. And um makes you feel alive and like you're it part does. of something bad. You get a little I adrenaline like rush. Yeah. yeah. I don't like actually fighting myself. Right. But I like other people fighting. Well, it's like, you know, uh, any fight like, you know, if you if you drive by and there's a fight, you you stop. If there's a fight it's the best. Remember yeah. when we were driving like down the street in Beverly Hills and there was a right. fist fight yeah. in the middle the middle of the it's day like on fights Rodeo the best. Or something. Yeah. We were like, wait, who's fighting on And then Rodeo I remember drive? as we crossed the light, yeah. uh lights behind us were like they don't do that in most neighborhoods. <laughs> we're like <laughs> there was a, a fight for thirty <laughs> seconds and then police were there yeah. in Beverly Hills. What's it's, going on here? It's kinda like that, you know, whole co- thing that people talk about. Well, <laughs> You know, how about, why don't you respond like this in bad neighborhoods? And it's like, well... Well, in Rampart, we also heard a lot of fighting, and oh cops never showed up for those fights. They they, they, came, they shown their helicopter lights in our right. room, but not, yeah. No, they never actually showed up physically. Anyways, these two guys are fighting, and you know, it's it's sloppy fighting. It's, yeah. it's sloppy... Well, what, like is it dude, white guys or yeah. you know you got to do the demographics yeah i mean i think uh, i would Old. say one guy was like 25 okay. thin okay. um you know clean cut real real slender build the other guy was huskier bigger stronger build and it seemed like the huskier guy was really actually composed and clearly the other guy was drunk and it seemed to be the type of thing of you got to get out of here for whatever you just did in there. The skinny guy did something yeah, bad. Yeah, the skinny guy did something bad. Oh, okay, because usually guys, you guys are very primal. And we but, put together that the skinny guy's name is Ivan. Okay. Okay. But men are very primal. Like you've told me that you'll walk into a room and even unconsciously size up guys, other people's. Guys do it all the time. Sizing, but women don't. We don't walk into yeah. a room and, and we do it on beauty. In social settings, yes. In social settings, yeah. women um, to figure out where they are on the beauty scale. Right. And men figure out where they are on the physical. Like strength. Yeah. Who's the strongest in mm-hmm. here? Yeah. Even yeah. without going into it like, hey. Right, right. It's unconscious. You just gauge it, yeah. So it seemed like Ivan was being like, dude, and, it, and he was being really hard re- restrained. And he was fighting back really hard. Not like really throwing punches, but it was a lot of shoving. He tore part of the other guy's shirt. And oh. it, was, it was very aggressive. It's fun. So as that happened, three or four other guys come out. One's an old guy hmm. who's probably, I would say, when I say old, I mean well over 60. Okay, white hair. And, you know, he's formally dressed. Um, and then two other guys, including one black guy. And... As we're walking, I, th- I think I'm on the phone with you, right? I heard this stuff. Yeah, yeah I heard it from here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, or, or or you called as it was. I forget. So yeah, you you called it a moment after. I think it I was coming back from the comedy yeah, yeah, store, yeah. and I just wanted to say hi. So I you hadn't t- talked. You hadn't called just yet. So as we're walking though, um, Matt goes, "Hey, do you know who that black guy is?" <laughs> and I go, "Who?" And we, keep in mind, we're twenty to thirty-five feet away. I go, he goes, uh, hey, that's that's Cuba Gooden Jr. <laughs> and I go, yeah. Like, I I giggle. Like, right, because I heard you say that, and then I, too, went, okay, right. Yeah. Anyways, so what else did you guys do tonight? Yeah, yeah. Well, you, but I'm saying you heard it after. This right. is not at the time. So at the time. Oh, right, right, right. You have, I haven't, I'm not talking to you yet. So I go, yeah. And, and I thought he was just making, like, you know, like if there's an Asian guy, and you go, hey, that's Mr. Miyagi. Right. Okay, like, right, I thought he was right. making, like, a bad racial joke yeah like just a throwaway and then he turns around and it's cuba gooding jr (laughs) and i was like holy shit and he is really in the mix of this thing splitting this up dude ivan went in and out multiple times they finally dragged him halfway down the street i see the old guy as he's trying to restrain him hit the pavement which was terrible nothing like seeing an old person fall it's just terrible and then I see Cuba come back. Cuba is his yeah. name. It's such a weird name. Cuba Cuba comes back and he goes, Cuba. I'll tell you, he's not a boxer. Uh, he goes, can't keep that chin down, man. 
And then he goes back inside. Wow. Um, comes out like three times. Then you call, like as the second time he's walked out, yeah. And I go, we just saw Cuba Gooding Jr. break up a fight. Yeah, and, and you're like, okay, okay. <laughs> the same way I did. <laughs> and then I had to give the phone to Matt. So you, I was like, I'm <laughs> serious. Matt, yeah. And then you talked to Matt, and he was like, no, no, it's really true. Yeah. Cuba Gooding Jr. is breaking up fights on the streets of uh, the Lower East Village That's here. so crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really weird. That's um, so crazy. But it's so New York that, you know what I mean, that you like... It's so weird. Walking down the street. It's actually more L.A. Like to have a huge celebrity be in a weird place like that. I don't know. I, see, I feel like it's a very New York thing too. The fighting is definitely New York because I heard it in the background. No, but celebrities are all over New York too. Oh, that's true. They just walk around over there too. I had my first paparazzi experience. You did? Yeah. Did the, they take a picture of your jeans? No, the video guys, like the TMZ oh, video guys. Oh, those douchebags? Yeah, but it happened, was, it happened in the best possible way. It happened without a doubt. Well, with them not wanting to get me, what happened was this. I get out of a car, like a car service car, and as I'm, the driver gives me my bags, I'm walking to my hotel, a guy in a car opens the door, like a parked car, and he goes, Tom Segura. <laughs> and I go, what's up, man? He goes, dude, I love your stuff. Uh-huh. And I go, thanks, man. And then the paparazzi, two paparazzi guys looked at each other. And I go, what's up? You guys are here for me, right? And they're like, yeah. And I go, nobody more famous is coming? And they go, "Mm mm-mm. That was it. And that was your interview with TMZ? I mean, I just walked in the hotel. I wasn't going to stay there and talk to guys that I knew are not there to to video me. Yeah. But they were waiting. There was some uh, musician or something at the hotel. Wow. I think it was like a pop star. So they they were all camped out. out Interesting. Yeah. Wow. Well, it sounds like you had a star-studded East Coast adventure. I know. Um, I saw a celebrity too in Indianapolis. In Indianapolis. Indianapolis tits. Where? Who? Somebody famous to our show, a what? little Yoshi. Oh, he is very famous. Gosh. Uh Yoshi Obayashi is very famous in your mom's house circles, and he was in Indianapolis of all weird things, and he did a guest set on my show. The reason I like. Jerking off while licking my, uh, having a girl licking my balls from my angle while she's licking my balls, I'm punching her fucking stupid face. Yeah. That's Yoshi. And we <laughs> went for lunch after the next day with like two normal friends of his. Uh huh. Like a married couple. Weird, right? It was super weird. And I just think the Jews are great. Right. And um, it was just weird to, to see Yoshi having functionally like good relationships with these people and they were the nicest and we had a lovely meal yeah and um he's doing stand-up and and just traveling around a lot and he says that uh your mom's house fans give him the most love see of, of all the podcasts that he's done when he when he, when he came up on my show bananas they he, went bananas for him he's legendary status legend if he did it now when we move and we are, are equipped for guests really yeah we got to have him on again. Yeah, I told him we would once. The studio, the new one yeah. set up, it's, it's too small in it's here. It's too crazy in here. It sucks. Yeah, it does. Um, but yeah, so he's doing great, and it was such a trip to see him. Yeah. And I went back to Cincinnati, and I tried building another fart. I went mm. to Skyline Chili. I ate at Applebee's, but I don't think anything can compare to that fateful day. No. You can't. You can't. It's once in a lifetime. Recreate magic. No, like it's that. like a double pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So, you know. Yeah. We both had celebrity sightings. Mm-hmm. Both are famous. Cuba. <laughs> Big deal. Okay. And Yoshi. Yeah. Such original names too. <laughs> Cuba. How old is Cuba now? I don't know. I got. He's got to be what? He's old. Late fifty. No. Late forties. Early fifties. Nothing. You're just, he's an old. What? I'm not gonna say it. I, I, I don't trouble. know what you're gonna say. Every time you know what I'm gonna 48. say. Forty-eight. No. Yeah. I don't know. It's an old joke. Oh, it's an old joke. No. Um all right. So now can we get into plantanitos? Yeah, plantanitos. Um, first of all, may I preface this by saying that you've done many things in showbiz. Yeah. You've done a uh, late night spots, so you've done mm-hmm. Conan. Yeah. What else have you done in late the late night in genre? Late, I did the late late show. The late late show I've with done Ferguson. Conan twice. Um, uh, you've did. actually you've done Conan as a stand-up, and then you came back and you sat on the couch. I did panel, yeah. You did panel, yeah. and both times, or how many times you've done this stuff, yeah. you've just been like, "Oh yeah, I'm doing Conan tonight, no biggie." When I announced to you that I was pregnant, you were like, "That's neat, no, no biggie." Um, you going on this show? Mm-hmm. You were ear to ear. Look, look at you now. This is this is like you watching Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer happen, babe. 
you were so stoked to go on this show and you were so thrilled the day of and so thrilled days after. I've never seen you this happy. I know. You know what the only bummer was? I tell you this now. They cut out so much stuff. Because mm-hmm. uh, he told me, he's like, oh, there's no rules. Do whatever. They um, In the cuts that I've seen, I got bleeped yeah. and they cut out like half... I. I know bad words more than anything, like most people who learn a second language. Right. And so I was cursing a lot in Spanish. Do they just straight up cut out some of it? Maybe they didn't think you were as much of a dirtbag as you are. I think that's the the, he, the thing. He's like, normal people ha- no boundaries. Yeah, like he, he was saying things like, in, like they go, how were you at sports? And he goes, oh, I had like two left feet, you know? And they <laughs> laughed. And then right. I was like, I said, in Spanish, I said, fuck, I was the fucking best. Right. And then they it just was cut like, out the bleep, whole answer. Yeah, they go beep, beep, and then they cut the rest of it cool. out. Cool. Yeah. Um, we were afraid of our Guatemalan nanny's mom seeing yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Because she loves Plantanito, and we're I was we're worried that she's going to quit. You do English and Spanish, by the way, on the show. What happens is, normally, if you're like me, they want you to speak English the whole time. Sure. Because the game kind of for them is that there's an English speaker on. Right, and they kind of make fun of you and stuff. Well, they... they Jokes it, on you. People wear earpieces and they translate and oh. it makes it like a clash of cultures. Right. So I do speak English and Spanish, but I'll, you'll see. Who's this guy? He's a Spanish actor tú, from Mexico. Tú, tú <laughs> <en los deportes laughs> this guy. No, m***, wey. Yo era... Oh, shit. Dude, two beeps already, right so, out of the yeah, gate. Yeah, I didn't even understand. You went, you went. I said no, mames, way, which is like you gotta be like, like, don't fuck with me. Like, say it again. You gotta be kidding me. Say it again. No mames, way. No mames, way. And then I said no puta excelente, and they puta they, puta excelente. Yeah, so they bleep mames, and then they bleep puta puta. But why puta excelente? I've Puta's never heard like, that together. Puta is like a. They say it in, in. Yeah, it, it's whore, but in. In Peru, it's said as a word of like emphasis, like a, a kind of vulgar word. But it's like it's like you said, um, how good were you at sports in high school? And I went, fuck, awesome. Okay. It's like that. So I'm saying, like, fuck, excellent. So great that they a clown is interviewing. Wait, you you know? <laughs> He's like looking over at his producer, like, yeah. <laughs> and look at this guy. This guy's the best. Yeah. This guy is ear to ear smiles the whole time. He's all energy. Because that's Latin uh, show. Uh, up, 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 like, up, up, yeah. up, 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 yeah. up, yeah. 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 Big expressions. Big, yeah. Sabado gigante, yeah. man. <laughs> There's a picture on my Instagram of when I'm on this, and they're, they're, I'll show you what they're doing. But him in the background, it's, it's somebody wrote, like, I've never been that happy as that guy is. This guy. Oh, and, yeah, he's ecstatic. He gets, yeah, he's ecstatic. But Latins guy. are very big. Big, yeah. Uh, show emotion. Yeah, yeah. pero I love it, like pero, your mother. But how you're, much do you love it? Your yeah. mother, if you eat something of hers, yeah. and you and you, she goes, "How is it?" and you go, "It's good." I, I, it's good. It's good. Yeah. You don't love it, but yeah. I go, "Yeah, no, I love it." But do you love it? Love it. Pero love it. Pero love it or do you love yeah. it? And yeah. she gets mad at me because I don't. He like, wants to know <laughs> if you love it. I love you. I love you. Love you. Here's the next clip. Okay. Okay. When I was when I was a kid, <laughs> I'll tell you this part in English. When I was a kid, I would go spend my summers in Lima, right? So, I would go to class, and the teacher would see me without papers, without books, without pen, because I was just visiting. So one day in class, he goes, uh, like, alumno, parate. Like, really mad, right? Whoa. Why don't you have your books? <laughs> oh. He brings me to the front of the class. He makes me face the class. And he tells them, ask this kid why he doesn't have his books. <laughs> so I say, it's because I'm from Gringolandia, and I don't have my books. <laughs> Gringolandia. <laughs> and he said, now you can ask him whatever you want. So this kid goes, uh, to, to make fun of me, to bully me, he goes, uh, ¿Cuántas veces al día te mas... <laughs> what? How many times a day do you masturbate? And I said, uh, <laughs> Depende si pienso de tu madre como seis, siete veces. Oh, I heard your mother. <laughs> <in there. Yeah. laughs> I heard your madre. They That's could. all you got to say. So basically, the kid, this is a true story. They yeah. put me in front of the class. It was like really shocking, you know? It's I been, never heard this story. You yeah, know so it was like the one of the my first summer going to class, and I would... Basically, I was in an all boys Catholic school. You wore, I wore the uniform and everything, but I didn't. I was a visitor, and they just stuck me in classes, and they were just like, just sit in the back. Right. So I didn't have papers and stuff on my desk, and most of the time nobody noticed. But one time, a teacher looked at my desk and was like, "What are you doing? Like, you don't have like, who are you?" And like, you know, they address you like that. It's more 
old school, mm -hmm. you know. And you mean they don't um, worry about your pronouns and, um, or if you're on a vegan gluten diet? Microaggressions. They go micro for <laughs> extra aggressions. Over aggressions, yeah. yeah. So yeah, he right? pulled me in front of the class. Imagine that and being a foreigner. Oh, it's terrifying. And I was like, like heart racing. And then I started to tell him and someone jumped in. They're like, he's, he's an American student. He's not even enrolled here. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, and he's like, well, ask away, kids. Ask, ask him whatever you want. And the first kid goes... How many times a day do you masturbate? <laughs> and the and teacher the, didn't correct that. Nothing. He's like, and I think how he many was times he wanted to see like what you're made of. Good. I love that. But this. I answered yeah. the kid. I said, It depends if I think of your mother like six or seven <laughs> times. And then I said, uh, a mi me dicen mano muerto, which means uh they they call me uh dead hand because <laughs> yeah. I'm I jerk off so much. I got you know? it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh anyways, it killed in the class. And then there was a little bit of fucking around and I went back to my seat. See, but I do like that old school academia stuff. Like they're not respecting your pronouns. They're not worried yeah. about oh, you no, no, being no, no. ashamed. Shame is a wonderful, powerful tool. And yeah. it kind of, but didn't it make you a tougher, more resilient human Absolutely. to go through that? Yeah. Of course. Honed your comedy fear. skills. You need fear. Fear, yeah. shame, yeah. Uh, all wonderful motivators. Anxiety. Yeah, but they again, they all motivate me. They cut out the thing, you know, they cut out parts. Well, it's beep, 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 beep. It's all beef for now, me. No, but they don't subtitle. It's not like puta, con, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> That'd be great if they still wrote it out I in know, Spanish. I know. Chinga tu madre. Dime lo que es. I love this show. I wish you did it every week. <laughs> so here's the, here's the, who's the gold? Y los audífonos. Así que no están escuchando totalmente nada. ¿Estás oyendo, Tom? So here's the game. Love it. They bring out this chick. <laughs> She has objects inside her tight gold suit. Right? So in this tight gold zip-up suit, like just things like a coffee mug, a right. phone. And the whole idea is you're supposed to touch her right. with your a blindfold. And also um, they have headphones with music playing on you. Secret touching games. Secret touching games. And you touch her and then you go, but it's supposed to be enticing because you're touching a, right. a beautiful this girl. This whole bit is you're just... You know what I love about Latin TV? Yeah. It's so pervy. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I don't understand what's going on, but sometimes I just watch the, the Latin channel, yeah. and it's all lecherous. It's like Benny oh, Hill. Yeah. It's and all you, Benny Hill shit. The best part, too, is that for the setup, which you don't see here, <laughs> they bring us out, and they're like, they're like, hey, like when you see her... Go ahead and react. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like, see your big reaction there. Yeah, You're yeah. like, this is Tom's big reaction. <laughs> and act. Yeah. Wow. No, but like <laughs> I, I, I did it. I did it super Latin, where I walked over and I went like, oh, like okay, I, good. like a big gesture, and I was like, hola, mucho gusto. <laughs> And I'm supposed, you're supposed to like just really ogle her, you know? Oh, so they're geez, like, all right, fellas. So and then they tell us like, you're going to get to touch her everywhere. Yeah, it's super See, this pervy. Is, this is um, sexual harassment. It totally know? is. Um, yeah. They, this is very uh, un PC. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the. the Pongas el antifaz. Pongas el antifaz, Tom. Y los audífonos. Así que no están escuchando totalmente nada. ¿Estás oyendo, Tom? Eres muy guapo, Tom. No, no está bien. De verdad. Soy mejor comediante yo que tú. La verdad, te, te lo digo entre amigos. Digo, y, y públicamente ah, también. Bring out, they bring out okay. a guy. Y yo apunto lo que dice Tom. ¿Qué está sintiendo Tom? Es el keyboard. ¿Un qué? Keyboard. ¿Qué es Tom? This is a... a una secadora de cabello. Like a, a melon. Un Trata de adivinar. Y, y tiempo. Se acabó, señor. Se <laughs> it's they, a good bit. It's a good bit. It's, it's a good really bit. funny. That's yeah. really funny. Yeah. What a fun show. It is fun. Um, and they also, what do they do? <laughs> Let me show you this. Uh, I liked your reaction. You did the, you really sold the. I sold that, right? You did the, wow, what the fuck, guys? Uh, guys. Did you say, ay, que lastima. I was like, guys, I'm not gay. <laughs> I did that, you know. Did you go, que horror? We this learned is... that in Espanol. <laughs> They they bleep, bleep me again. <laughs> I got bleep there. <laughs> One of my answers, not only this. did they bleep completely, <laughs> I'll show you at the board at the end. His face is great. So then they right. go through the count here. Of who guessed, right? <laughs> right? Vamos a ver quién fue el ganador de este desafío. En el traje, 
Ahí sale el primer objeto. Un muy bien. Es que es so silly. Ahí está. Tres, Ahí tenemos una tres. buena de Tom. Ok, can you tell something about my board that looks different? Zero? No. He's holding the board, the guy next to me. Oh. What's all bleeped out? They blurred out my answers, too. Because Wait. that's how vulgar I was. Hilarious. Oh, no. One of them, they blurred out a word. One of them, they blurred out completely my answer. What were you, I mean, what, what did you say? Dildos? No, what I said, okay, so the first one was, um, because I knew it was a dude, okay? Right, so right. So I go, I was touching, and I go, ah, un culazo excelente, which is like a great ass. <laughs> And they, he said, like, in the room, because, like, you know, you wear headphones. He was like, dude, that killed. Right. But, oh, because you can't even hear yourself talk. You can't hear anything. So, wait, how is he, then how do you know when he's like, what do you feel? Because they just tell you to keep guessing. So, they, they, so before you go. you're just talking? Yeah, you're just like, uh, yeah. So, I was like, un culazo excelente. And then I wait. You could hear laugh, like, kind of through, the, over the music uh, even. okay, yeah. Then you move on. So, they bleep that out. Or they, they, they didn't even put it Your on the answers. board. answers. Well, yeah, he, he, he told you to go for it, and but, then they, but that's in like TV, go for it, maybe. You know? I guess so. I guess I was way too vulgar. Um, Why vulgar? And then they they blurred out tetas, too. Again, yeah. tetas? Yeah. That's nothing. It's like titties. I said he's got small titties, this yeah. guy. <laughs> you can totally tell if it was a dude anyways, right? If they didn't hip you to it, it the joke beforehand yeah, kind of thing. Man, you could tell. You can tell it's a bro. Yeah. Bien, perfecto. It's such a silly game. game. Vamos a ir. Raqueta. Va a salir otra vez. Raqueta. Ah, una raqueta. Pues no, ¿Eh? no la tiene. Cuatro. Lalo, sí. Cuatro. Lalo, sí. Lalo. ¿Qué más sale por ahí? ¿Qué más sale por ahí? No, no, ya no averigües. <risa> ah, ándale. Un teclado. Y lo dijo Tom. Teclado. Muy bien. Aquí está. Dos aciertos para Tom Segura. Cinco puntos Muy bien. para Tom. Muy bien. All fucking. ¿Qué más sale hola. por ahí? ¿Qué más sale por ahí? ¿Qué más sale por ahí? I should have grabbed that coffee mug and been like a huge cock, you know, like in his pants. But see, look. They blurred out your answers even. Efectivamente. Lo dijo Tom. Muy bien. Una taza. Right. I will say Plantanito has got a good look for a clown. He's been doing it 40 years. He, it, it looks really cool, actually. Like his the coloring he chooses. I like the purple. I like, Las the, volteamos, le damos I like the glitter. Ya está. New game. Elijan una, la que sea, al azar. Ahí está, y las volteamos al mismo tiempo a la una, What's a las dos. I, I don't understand this so, game. I don't think people listen and understand. Okay, so what they do is we're sitting at a table, three of us. Mm -hmm. Lalo, the actor, the host, Plantanito, and me. And there's um, dominoes on the table, huge ones, mm -hmm. uh, with the the digits, the, the numbers face down. Okay. And they spin the table around, and then you turn over. You randomly pick, and you flip it over at all at the same time. So look, Lalo has the highest, uh -huh. then, then and then me, I have the lowest. That means I lose. Oh, okay. So, this is, yeah, okay. It's just a silly it's game. It's like go fish. And the loser, they pour a mug of beer down your pants. Oh, that's fun. So right now, I just found out that I lost. And now the clown's gonna put it down your pants. <laughs> they love this shit, man. I love this shit. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta go. Oh, no. Is it cold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel it on your oh, boobs? Of course. This is like you peed your pants there. Yeah. Does it? Does your dick and balls hurt when something cold? Is it? Do you get brain freeze on your dick and balls? Is what mm, I'm saying. Cold, just I don't know. I mean, it, if you're talking about freezing cold, everything just kind of you know. With that, you, everything just shrinks more. It really does. Okay. You just you just get tight and you shrink. Yeah. Yeah. I love how they shame shamed you and then they showed the floor like you oh, like you made pee pee everywhere. No, they're showing that the beer yeah, ran dummy. through my pants. It's a pee pee. I got one more thing in here. Ah. I've already lost Ahora one sí, too. Tomamos la ficha. Ahí está la ficha. ¿Qué pasó? Ya se está I, quejando. I got Tom. 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 Le tocó la bola blanca. La cosa es que... ¿Qué pasó, Tom? Ya tengo la cosa bien pequeña, no sé qué. 
So that's another dirty joke. What I said, I already have my, my thing so small. Your tiny little pajarito. Yeah, so I don't know where we're going to put this. But now keep your eye on, on the assistant guy. So wait, they're funneling more beer in, in your ass crack in your butt hole. Yeah. Okay. So look how happy he gets. He gets real I love it. Yeah. I would I need to start watching this show. Platanitos? Dude, I'm a huge fan already. Watch it. It's so silly. I wish we had shows like that in English. It's today at TV. It's really good. They put half in English. I'm gonna start watching. Yeah, they, they do so fun silly. bits. They do the silly, Latins silly are bits. very happy and a and a, a big. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hmm. You want to see the biggest dad boner ever? Yeah. Like, takes it to another level. <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, he's a hunter. Okay. 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 She's gonna. Oh shit! <laughs> Down right there. No way. <laughs> Yes! Have you ever seen a moose go down that quick? No. Holy cow! No. Holy cow is right. That is awesome. Such a uh, nerd. That guy's definitely Canadian, that accent. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Holy cow. I really like that. <laughs> I think he's, he's related to Garth. Yeah. He's such a boner. That is such we got a out here, out here. Early morning. Look at the look at the meadow. Look at the meadow. This is why. This is why we came up here. We've been slipping along. He's Canadian. This big huge meadow. Yeah. Big long tall meadow. We've been slipping <laughs> along here. Just glassing. Just glassing. Glassing. And all of a sudden, literally, I didn't even have Dude, I didn't even put my headset on. I'm like, ah, we're just yeah. glassing these big huge meadows. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's super geeked. Oh man! I wish I got excited about cool stuff, anything slick like that. stuff, neat stuff. Dude, that's how. Dude, that's, that's how, how excited I was for Platinum. I know. That's how how super excited you were. I was really excited. Nothing excited you like being, and I and I mean that. I'm not just saying that for a jokey joke. Yeah, yeah. You've done a lot of really cool things in your career. I would. You have never been excited. Like you, you just you're not an excitement dude. But that show, you were like, what am I gonna wear? And you don't care. You've done specials. We were like, I don't know. We're just, I don't care. You've done late night. We've done stuff. Yeah. Don't care. And you were like, I have to look good. I have to, you know, prepare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's cute. Why do yeah. you think Plantanito held a special place in your heart? Um, Honestly, I think it was honestly? because I've always wanted to do something Spanish Latin based. It's your, it's your roots. It's roots. And... You know, I, I wanted like I want to be on Narcos. I want to. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. So the idea of being even in that kind of world a little bit, I don't know. It just it, it felt it's your, like it's your heritage. Yeah, I felt like it was like um, oh maybe I don't know. It was like hanging out with cousins or something. Right. You know? I, like I have Ro -Ro. the exact opposite. I want nothing to do with the Eastern Bloc culture. Yeah. <laughs> I want nothing to do with yeah. it. <laughs> I just I still can't believe how much they bleed me. Yeah. It's, Especially because they gave me the green light. They're like, go for it. They even said curse as much as you want. That's odd then. That's odd that... Yeah. Well, maybe they didn't think you'd go for it that hard. Well, they tell me to curse in English. Cur they're like, say whatever you want. They go, there's no rules here. Oh, uh, I guess there were. This guy's rad though. He's so excited. Do you excited. think he doesn't, he doesn't have sex though, right? We got out here early morning. Look at the, look at the meadow. <laughs> this is why, this is why. We came up here. We've been slipping along this big, huge meadow. Big, long, tall meadow. We've been slipping along here. Just glassing. Just glassing. Just glassing. And all of a sudden, literally, I didn't even have, I didn't even put my headband on. I'm like, ah, we're just glassing these big, huge meadows. I love it. What's glassing? No fucking clue. That guy's not Canadian, by the way. Of course he is. No, he's not. Master of accents, I think you're wrong. Uh, that's definitely Canadian. Listeners, Canadian listeners verify that man is Canadian. Absolutely. Hostel, the glassing along. He talks like a total Canuck. Glass. Glassing along. Just glassing. Eh? Hosers. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. It says there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, glassing techniques. Glassing and tips along. For spotting deer. 
10, top 10 glassing tips. Okay. I guess it's a stocking thing. Buy the best binoculars you can afford. The depth and field and clarity will be a huge difference. July and August are the best times to glass as the deer. Uh, start each glassing session cleaning your glass. I guess it has to do with okay. just looking. Oh, right? glassing ma- meaning looking through the binoculars. Yeah, glassing so. is looking at them. Now, you realize how stoked this guy is off of killing deer? That's what he's stoked about is murdering a, a deer. A moose, yeah. A moose? Moose, yeah. Moose, yeah. That's what this guy is so That's fired up about, about to killing. Come in his pants just like yeah. you. Yeah. You share something special with him, your love of killing. I'm surprised you don't like to kill animals. Why uh, don't you go? Will Joe Rogan ever invite you? He's asked me. He's invited me. I feel like you might find your true calling as a hunter and your really? thirst for blood needs to develop a little. Oh, maybe. I think you'll get that violence out of you, the the anger and the rage that secretly. I don't want to Listen, kill I animals. people have sent in the clip of Bill Burr and uh, Burt Kreischer calling you a psycho yeah. on the Burt cast. Yeah. Bill Burr was like, Tom's the biggest psycho here. I think Bill's the biggest psycho. No, I think he's right. I think you are. Bullshit. You're clearly, yeah. Uh, More than Bill? Bill's, Bill's out of his mind. Bill's not a psycho. Mind. Bill's such a psycho. <laughs> Bill's such a psycho. Bill's a little cautious, cautious. about things, but you're, you're definitely more of a bloodlust sort of guy. I disagree. Respectfully disagree. I respectfully. I'm not into hunting at all. Why would you even suggest that? Because I think that I'm not saying you. I can't you, believe you would put me ahead of him on the cycle. I think you need to explore hunting to tap into the side of you that likes to kill. This thirst. What for, side of me that likes to that kill? That laughs at Henry, portrait of a serial killer, the rageful beast that lurks inside needs the release. Get out of here. I don't like to kill animals. Yet. Maybe you could get maybe, as excited about it as this guy is. Maybe if I were to eat them. Like Joe does. He yeah. puts it to use. I would do something. If you like could that. hunt maybe. for your family. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm really not into the idea. It does not it does not entice me at all. Not the blood or the stabbing. No. Maybe I if you still I'm going back to I can't believe you're putting me ahead of Bill on the <laughs> psycho list. He's so clearly a psycho. Why is paranoid psych- psycho? You think if the paranoia makes him more I just have a conversation. He's so much more fired up. He's like a an angry ranter. But I don't think he laughs at um, murder. So if you don't laugh, yeah, then you're not. Yeah. Okay. If you don't laugh at other people, Dumb. other people's harm or killing, I, like show. If we showed Bill that that clip of Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer where the hooker gets her neck twisted and broken, and if he doesn't laugh the way you did, I'd say that you're you're more. I of didn't a laugh at him killing her. I laughed at the guy's reaction to Henry. And what about the video of the guy's legs getting smushed? Uh, by the car. I laughed at his reaction to mm-hmm. getting smushed by a car. The cries of pain. Yes, because they were comical. And mm-hmm. a lot of people agreed that it was a mm-hmm. funny reaction. Okay. But you're trying to paint me as a, more of a psycho than that mm-hmm. redheaded freak. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Yes. <clears throat> the best answer for glassing, looking at it through magnification, either binoculars, mm-hmm. rifle scope. Usually when the term is said, it means look, looking through binoculars. Um, I'm not a bigger psycho. I'm so offended by that. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. You're a ridiculous person. Let's just keep going. Let's <laughs> glass. Let's glass. Let's glass. <laughs> I'm glassing. I'm like, holy smokes. I got a moose. So Canadian. I got a moose. And I'm like, oh of man, it's a he's bull. Canadian. It's a bull. And I'm like, no, it's a cow. We got a cow right there. I've never heard anybody that excited it's a moose. for anything, man. It's a cow. It's a cow anything. right there. Dude, so fine. Hunting enough. moose. They let the conversation begin. <laughs> He's got such Garth like blood in him. Yeah. Garth. Dad boner blood. It's blood cool stuff. <laughs> Slick stuff. Neat stuff. <laughs> Here's the uh the super cut uh, <clears throat> oh, of, I love uh, it. of Dad Boner. Dad Boner the Hunter. <laughs> We've been slipping along here. Just glassing. Just glassing. Glassing. <laughs> We're just glassing. Let's glass. Let's glass. Let's glass. I'm glassing. I'm like. <laughs> Okay, so we're glassing, just glassing, <laughs> glassing, glassing. <laughs> we're just glassing. Let's glass. Let's glass. Let's glass. I'm glassing. I'm like, <laughs> like he just came in his pants. Yeah, he's so, remember that dad boner we saw today before we had lunch, mm. dude? We saw a guy walking down the street wearing light denim, like light, 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 light blue denim, practically white denim, tight as fuck, high up, brown braided belt. And then sandals with socks. Right, Jeans? Yeah. Yeah. 
that's like the wackest dad look ever. It is super whack, dude. It is. I don't want to be that. Like I'm really trying not to be that. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the noise that guy made. I think when he when he found out that either that he spotted a moose or that Glass. it went down. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great night. Yeah. You know, I like the guy and the guy that got bitten by the snake in the yeah. cave a few weeks back. Remember? Yeah, him? yeah, yeah. I got a big bite. I got a bad bite. Bad bite. I got a bad, got a bad bite. bite. I got a bad, 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 bad bite. I got a bad, bad bite, bad bite, bad bite. I got a bad bite. I was just glassing. Glassing. Just glassing. Keeping it glassy. Glassing a lot. Um, I don't know where that is. I remember where that guy was. I got a bad bite. That guy? Yeah, the bad bite guy. I don't remember. I got where a he bad bite. All the guano. <laughs> yeah. There's guano blood everywhere. I'm guano. S- I'm 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 knee deep in guano and back guano. <laughs> yeah. I don't see that at all. These hunting guys, these outdoorsy types. What a nightmare. Oh, knee deep in back guano. What happens to to men when they turn into boners? Like, do you think he's always been a boner and then becoming a dad just makes you lamer? Or is it is it becoming a dad that just makes you a lame maybe, person? Maybe it's just when you stop chasing puss. I think so. Your energy needs to go somewhere else. Yeah. And some dudes like, you know, like maybe it coincides with testosterone dropping. So it's like. That's what it is. So you're like, what am I going to put? My, my, you know, my drive into being a boner. The time. Show me what they got. See that goes away. Right. And then you go. I need something else to do. Right. You know. It's glassing, and you, you get all stoked about stuff like that. Stanima. You got to stanima to do other things. It's like how women shut it down after they have kids too. They, they stop being a lady, and they um, get their hair cut real bad. Yep. And they shut down the vagina too. Shut it down, man. You got to shut it down because you stop. You stop being sexual. It's the same thing with women. Yeah. You got to fight. You got to fight the fight, man, <laughs> to stay a sexual being after you have kids. Where is what was that? What what episode was back when? I though? don't remember. I don't remember. Because that was excellent, man. That was so good. Is it in here? Um, maybe it's, it's so funny, man. Uh, here's I'm a bike. Remember that? I'm a bike. Remember that lady? No. You don't remember that? She sat on the front of a bus, a city I'm, bus, yeah, and she goes, "I'm a bike." Yeah. And she made them try to get them to take her because they're like, "This is for bikes." And she goes, "I'm a bike." <laughs> um, okay. Yelling well. at the thing. No, I don't know where it is. It's okay. It's not okay. We can move on. I don't want to. Okay. You'd rather have dead air? It's not dead the, air. The clip? It's not dead air. Well, I'll fill the air while you look for something. I um, I was very upset on this tour that I went on, the main Mother Goddess tour, because all the toilets that I took shits in were regular toilets. And I felt what it was like to have life before the total wash let. Yeah. And we've had the wash lid in our lives since March, since we moved into this rental home. And it really has changed me into a civilized human being. I no longer shit to shower because I no longer have to with the Toto wash lid. Uh, but I found myself going back to my old ways on the road, Tom. How so? Well, I would take a dump in the hotel and I would wipe and wipe and wipe and the wipes just kept on coming. So I had to go straight to shower. And now? Now, well, now I'm back home, but it was really gross. It just felt gross, like mashing all that shit into my butthole all the time. That's what normal people do that don't have washlets. Yeah. It's so disgusting. And with you and your hair, that must be even grosser when you're on the road. I have a, I got it as soon as I got to New York this week, I had a big old nasty travel day dump. Mm. And it was nice because the hotel bathroom was so tight to the sink. So at least you could go. I'm sorry, to the sink? Yeah. So like you sat next to a sink. Uh-huh. So you could soak toilet paper. You know what I mean? Mm, that's even nastier hole. to me. I'd rather just get in the shower. How is no. that not grosser than just getting up and going to shower? Mm-mm. Uh, so you'd wet 
you'd wet the toilet paper and then smush it and smush it and smush it that way. Yeah. Mm. How many times did you have to do that? Mm, I don't know. I don't remember. Probably five or six. It's a lot. See, to me, that's more work. Like maybe just go and take a shower, you know? Yeah. I'm on this new diet because um, I started seeing a fitness trainer. Yeah. And I'm on what's called a primal diet. Mm -hmm. And I eat a lot of oils and fats, like good fats. And the thing is, in the morning, I'm, I drink coffee with coconut oil and organic butter in it. It's yeah. like a shake. And um, it's supposed to keep you full longer, and it does. But it also makes you have to shit. Shit bad. Too, Dude. Uh... Oh my God, I drank my coffee this morning. I was getting Ellis up, changing him. And as I was changing his diaper, I had the need to fill mine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to like fucking run downstairs. I threw him into like his play area and just took a really fierce shit today. How bad was it? It was intense. It was like uh, so much too. Like so much poo comes out of you and you, you realize how much there is inside of you. That's, I live for those shits. Where you're just surprised? Mm -hmm. I know, me too. Mm -hmm. When you amaze yourself. That's when, I feel like those types of shits are the ones that that um, that make you go, I'm never gonna not try to shit this big, you know? Right, they inspire you to do bigger, better dumps. Yeah, exactly. Did you find the clip? He sees bitten me. Man, I got a bad bite. I got, I got a bad bite. I got a bad bite. I got a bad back. I got a bad bite. Man, I got a bad bite to the leg. I got a bad bite. And I got a really bad bite. Still I've got a really bad bite. Man, my leg is killing me. I've got a really bad. I got to get over. I got a really bad bite. Oh, I got a bad bite. <laughs> I love how much he talks about it. When he got bit. Yeah, and he doesn't do anything. He yeah. just talks about it. It's so bad. It's Waist cool. deep bat guano. <laughs> Kept saying it. Got a big open wound and all this, all this bat this guano. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. There's the tail. He's planning something. Yes. <laughs> something is going on. I don't on. like that. He's planning something. He's squeezing me very tightly. It is terrifying. Yeah. That one was terrifying. Go, dude. Ah! Ah! <laughs> dude, leave. Damn, that was terrible. Yeah. All right. I couldn't leave it alone. Sorry. Mm. Made me happy. I'm a psycho, remember? Mm, yeah. Can't mm. believe you, you say that. So offensive to me. <sighs> Seriously. How could you think that? <laughs> mm. How could you think that? Because I live with you. I know you. I've known you for years. You're so full of shit. I've known you for years. What does that mean? I think Bill's point was that it's secretly lurking. Like one thing could set you off. I see that happening like over the years. Um, maybe like the thing will set you off and then who knows? That's why I think hunting might be good for you. It's like a release valve for all that um, rage, secret rage inside of you. I think I'd rather, you know, hurt a person than an animal though. That's what I'm saying. There you go. But maybe we can channel that person hating into the animals, you know? Mm. They make it like a healthier ag aggression thing. I really like that. <laughs> I know you do. Well, speaking of dad boners and Garth, we uh we have a older Oda. FIFO's tweet dad boner. Oh, dream, yeah. dreaming, dreaming in your lap. It's so cute. <laughs> a older Garth interview. Oh, I love Garth. Like the origins of Dad Boner. Okay. With me, I gotta pull every trick I know out of the hat because well, I want these people to crawl out of this place. I want them to be exhausted and I want them to feel what I'm feeling. What are you feeling? Oh. oh my I God. haven't found a better word for it, so please excuse me for what I'm about to say. This is so simple. It's sex. Now, you go, okay, but he's, listen to how he describes his he's sex. He's dead behind the eyes. I, I think he's a real so it's sociopath. Just. A thousand miles an hour. It's the wildest thing. And then in the flip of a heart, what? it goes to this nice, tender, soft thing. And you find everybody leaning in. And all of a sudden, it's just bam, bam, bam. There you go. There's some Garth sex oh, for you. Look at Baba, Baba Wawa just like. He knows how to put out though, right? I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think Garth really, really consumes you when you're his sexual partner. Uh, he's annoying. Yeah. I think he's like, I like the way that 
Yes. Yeah, he's he's the guy that's going to light the hundred candles in the bath. He's going to make intense eye contact. Lots of intense lots eye contact. Lots of eye contact. Oh, and a lot of, uh, probably shows you the tongue a lot before. <laughs> Do you like that? Do you really like that? I don't want to throw up. I wish there was some way, yeah, some awesome. way you could step inside no, and see what it is you see. Oh, my God. There are times, actually, when I swear to God to you that you could just Flan. It's so cool. It's it's all the things that you've always wanted to cut loose and let loose and just fly uh -huh. that you never thought you could do, but it actually happens. Oh my oh, god. Oh man. So he's been this boner for a long this time. Is so this real. is an old interview. This has got to be twenty years old. Uh huh. He really believes his own bullshit, this yeah. one. He drinks his own Kool-Aid. Oh yeah. It's like I, it's like you're flying. Can I tell you I don't buy it? I don't buy it. I just think that he's I think I, I think he's a little contrived, and uh, I, I feel like he's a, a bit of a sociopath. I don't buy it's it. It's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. Yeah. 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 I don't buy it. He's weird. Some something's going on there. You think so? I do. I, I think something's doing. I mean, look, the guy's talented. I'm not saying that he's not a talented person, but mm -hmm. I I don't believe this nonsense. It's sex. <laughs> to Barbara Walters. And all of a sudden it's just bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I can see why you I can describe see it why. as sex. Oh, it's, it is wonderful. It's very addictive, too. Okay. Would you rather... Mm. Oh, boy. Would you rather have sex with Garth Brooks or the vegan vagina guy? Oh, 100% Garth Brooks. <laughs> why? It's not even close. Why? That dude is unbearable. The vegan vagina guy? Oh my, and he's disgusting. <laughs> he's disgusting. John Sucker. This guy's full of himself. He's yeah. a megalomaniac yeah, he's superstar. Crazy. Yeah. But that dude is gross. <laughs> <laughs> he's gross and full of himself. You know? And uh, he's missing teeth. <gasps> Garth has, at least you're going to have a nice situation to have do it a in nice situation yeah he has a nice house and you know we forgot what our perfect smiles i know they're in the next room you vamp for a minute i'll go grab them well we wore those perfect smiles <laughs> on instagram and people really enjoyed them yeah. um they're yeah bed, right? i don't know i have no idea where they are i have no idea none where the perfect smiles are please don't ask me but um, you know, it's an unpaid sponsorship. Nobody asked us to promote the perfect smile. Nobody paid us to promote the perfect smile. We just got perfect smiles on our own and we wore them and we showed them to everybody on Instagram. And I don't think it could be any better, man. I felt so much more confident. I feel like I'm going to get that date. I'm going to go I'm going to go get that interview. I'm going to get that job now that my teeth are perfect. So we have perfect smiles now. Oh, that's dead air. You want to talk about dead air? That's the ultimate dead air move. What? Put these in and just look at the camera. Just for YouTube. No, I know, but I'm saying we're both Well, you're supposed to talk. That was the point. I okay. told you to vamp. All right. I did talk. I'm talking about that you gave me the perfect smile. I put it in. And? Do I you felt, feel more confident? I just told them how much more confident I felt yep. since getting it. Total smile confidence? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These are the worst things. I've seen better teeth at the Halloween store. They kind of look like Halloween teeth. They look way worser than them. I kind of showed you how to how to put them in for pictures. Right. So the problem is, is I was actually trying to put them in like they were veneers. Right. But you put them in your lips. And then they'll actually, you actually look like you have old, <laughs> old Eastern block teeth when you wear them like that. Yeah. Right now they just look like, oh, wow. She had her, she had her teeth fixed in the early seventies in the Ukraine or something. Right. That's what it looks like. In Hungary. Mine look like dog teeth. <laughs> I look like a dog smiling. <laughs> like those dogs that smile in mm -hmm. denture commercials. <laughs> the perfect smile. Mm -hmm. here's, now here's the crazy part with the perfect smile. And you, uh -huh. is that these are shaped almost exactly like your real teeth. Uh -huh. The gums are too bloody and red, but yeah. the shape of them is identical to what you got. Do you going. think if you were on a date with somebody, though, and they had these in, <laughs> you'd be able to tell? 
You'd be like, what is up with their teeth? <laughs> or no. Of course. Right away? Because they wouldn't be in their lips. They would be in their mouth. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> People wear them who have um the problem with this also is that it sits on your other teeth. So somebody who has like let's say two bad teeth here. Right. You put this in it's still sitting over your other Yeah, not it's bad too teeth. chunky. Yeah. The the design flaw, there's a few design flaws. Number one, these are for women. So men and women have different shapes mm -hmm. of teeth. Mm -hmm. And these are too small for most men. And yeah. the gums are bloody. And that's too thick and chunky. Yeah. If you were to melt... First of all, I would not trust this shit. Sticking that to your teeth? Ah, fuck no. To melt this plastic and You then don't melt it, do you? You're supposed to put it in hot water and it loosens the glue. And then you pop them on and then they adhere to your real teeth, which you go, hell... I feel so much more confident now. <laughs> it's a perfect smile. I have a confidence It's a confident. Total smile confidence. Total smile confidence. Um, you know that this guy, John, wrote to us. Yes, we I met him. We reviewed his denim. Oh, you did? I did. I met him in person. Uh, he he came to one of the shows in uh, Texas, I believe. Mm. And mm -hmm, did, mm -hmm. did his denim come up there? Yeah. He goes, I'm the one that sent you the picture. <laughs> well, we've had multiple pictures sent in, though. Though it was this guy in particular. Oh, it was? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then he... Uh, he got him. He got him. Much tailored. better. Yeah. Much better. That's what we're talking about. Good job. Much better. Yeah, it just looks better. It looks so much better. Good job. You know how to wear your jeans now. Total jean confidence. Yeah. Total jeans <laughs> confidence. Um, nice job, sir. John, is it? Good job. We, we Good allow job. you to wear your jeans. Good for you. Good for you. Um, Yay. Did you wonder about uh, making dog food? since you ate some a while ago. Mm -hmm. I'm Lisa Hennessy. I'm the founder of Your Pet Chef. And we <laughs> make looks personalized like dog. dog food and treats here in Chicago. Ready? We use all human-grade ingredients. Oh. There you go. That we puree up into bars. This looks really cool. Bars. Yeah. Into bars. You'd eat that. So I by eating would. whole foods or a more natural diet, a wild diet, it really natural. helps them have a longer, better quality of life. Wow. Aww. You mm. know, before dogs were domesticated, they ate what they killed, and they ate it raw. <laughs> so we prepare food raw. We do light baking or freeze-dried. So we really take a lot of those history lessons and include that in the food. I kind of want to get some of her dog treats. I, yeah, I kind of feel like there's something I need to ask for so that I can eat these treats. You know what I mean? I wasn't thinking like that. Like, I was thinking we should buy them for the dogs. No, I'm thinking that I've been eyeballing uh, this necklace that I wanted to get. And I'd eat some of these treats if you'd buy me that necklace. By the way, Jesus. when I was on the road. I feel like you want this food. When I, Of course. When I was in, uh, I think it was Cincy, this girl goes, hey, is that the ring you got for eating dog food? And I go, yeah, actually it is. Oh, like, yeah. She noticed from the, sta the stage. So uh, there's a necklace I want that matches <laughs> this ring. Babe. I would totally eat this dog food if you'd get me the necklace. I mean, if, but it seems like you really are enjoying dog food if you're always... <laughs> Bringing that up as something to get treats with. Well, I don't. Then it doesn't have to be dog food. Is there something else you want me to do? Uh, Lucy got necklace? treats for breathing, and I just kept feeding her and feeding her. So we put her on the Lucy diet. She got, you know, a little more pumpkin, a little more green beans, and a little more whole foods. I love it. And there she was able to lose 22 pounds wow. in Aww. six months. And that was a pivotal point for me in creating your pet chef. Oh, wow. that looks delicious. That sounds pretty cool. No maggots, though? I'd like my maggots. How about this? This came up afterwards. So they have this menu for my dog, That's right? Serena Williams. Chip left yeah. his food. Can you imagine? Serena Williams, the greatest female tennis player of all time. Yeah. Chip is three years old, and he's been traveling for three years. The little guy leaves his food at home. He doesn't pack food. So uh, this hotel has a doggy menu. Have a doggy Chip, menu. Chip's not supposed to pack his own food. You are right. Well, that's that's very true. But look at that menu. That's a doggy menu. <laughs> I've seen that before. It's really absurd. And yeah, certain hotels. And I promise you, I was like, that looks so good. It was like fresh, like greens and boiled chicken and and beef, and it was seared. 
it was seared like tenderly and it was just perfection and i was like that looks like the best food looks better than my food right so See today i'm like gone. i might want to taste this food so i ordered him the salmon and rice because i thought i ate salmon so i ordered the salmon rice before you judge me look at it <laughs> look that's the salmon that's nice. and rice looks it's kind of all mixed together right yeah looks good i'm like what the heck? I'm gonna try a piece. It looks good. So I eat a wow. spoonful. Don't judge me. I eat a spoonful. <laughs> Don't judge me. Let's fast forward to two hours. I just ran to the toilet like, whew, like I thought I was gonna pass out. Really? I mean, it it did taste weird. Like I forced, I forced swallowed it. Like, whoa. whoa. Sounds like what you did. Yeah, but I. I don't it also want... sounds like it affected her dumps. It did. But she didn't say it smelled like dog food. Remember, it didn't smell like dog shit, I mean. Yeah, that's interesting. So, But we learned that the w the reason why. It's their anal glands that make the dog right. shit smell like dog but shit. But I wish she would have been like, yo, it didn't smell like dog shit. <laughs> it I smelled like my house. shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, it tastes a little bit like a house cleaner kind of thing. I don't know oh, what taste in these dog food. But Chip liked it, and it looked good, but... I don't think it's consumable consumable <laughs> for humans. Uh -huh. And um, they should have wrote that. The only thing that would have made this better would be at the end if she was like, Tom Skrill, you got to buy me some jewelry. <laughs> I've been I eyeballing ate this that. ring. That's I ate right. that food. Now, and I today I paid 15 euros for that stuff that's, that's making it. me go to the bathroom. So I mean, doing number two. Yeah. I need a life. She was right. <laughs> you need to get your I life. I really do need to get my life. Oh, my she gosh. Said it. She uh, she, she is said listening it. to our show. She's listening. Uh, you know, me. the dog food. That you better I, get your life. Get your life. I didn't get sick when I ate um, Fief's food. Yeah. Uh, But they must have, like, given them. I mean, dog stomachs are way stronger than ours. Yeah. She said oh it tasted God. like cleaning agent. Maybe it was like Ugh. just like out of the dumpster, you know? And she had a one bite and it made her shit like That's that. That's crazy. Now then again, her system might be so, you know, strictly clean. Yeah, because she's a pro athlete that just like me, babe. Just like me. Just like you. Like any like the same problem. any little variation maybe makes brown happen. I guess, yeah. Yeah. That's really weird, though. That's a, that's a lot of fancy shit for dogs, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a nice nice joint. Dude, where's I mean, she staying? <laughs> yeah. Well, you mean, those were the prices for dogs. I can't imagine what the Dude, people prices 15 are. Dude, 15 euro for a plate yeah. of shitty dog food? It's like close to 30 bucks. That's close, crazy, right? yeah. Is it almost two to one? What is the euro to dollar now? Mm, yeah, Let's like a dollar and a half it was last time was we it? went there, but I'm sure that's it's been a while, worse, way worse for now. Do, Who knows do, what do. the Brexit? Euro to dollar. Uh, oh, it's it's closer now. To what? One to one? Yeah. So fifteen bucks is sixteen dollars. Oh, wow. It's much closer. It's oh. a weaker euro. Oh, that maybe euro. since Brexit. The Brexit. We want our country back. <laughs> it's for Brits only. <laughs> if you're not from here, get out. <gasps> we don't want you dirty foreigners. Dirty Africans stealing our jobs. And the Polacks. There's so many Polacks. Last time we went, yeah. the whole labor force was Polish people. And when I lived there in the late 90s, it wasn't like that for sure. It looks like 2014, mid-2014 was the height of the value. Really? What yeah. was it? Uh, it just shows, it's just a chart. Yeah. It was up to 1.4 <clears throat> four times. What are you eating, stupid? Just over 1.4 times oh, the okay. value so okay. almost, almost one and a half times and then 2015 saw the biggest dip to almost equal words which is basically where it's at now it's almost equal it's time to go to england man yeah well Party. well no because they're out of the euro market now uh the euro let's see let's see what dollar to pound uh, is <sighs> do, 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 the do, pound do, 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 do british pound oh the pound is weaker in the dollar you're right so mm. the british pound I mean, when we went it was definitely stronger it was kicking our ass and when i was there in the 90s it was kicking our ass too yeah mm, the brexit is doing things mm -hmm. wow interesting hoof, hoof, hoof. 
It's rough, rough seas over there right now. I know. Yeah, it is a good time for a trip there. I know. Too bad we have this kid. Leave him. Or we just fly for like 10 hours. Kids love being on planes. Small babies, they love it. Yeah. <laughs> so horrible. We could do that. You, you want to take him? I would do it. And then fuck up his sleep schedule? Oh my God, could you imagine? I would do it um, next summer. Like he's over. Like he's older. Yeah. yeah. I think a year and a half you could still get him to sit in your lap. <laughs> I think he needs his own. Even at this stage, his you think own. So? Dude, he's all over the place. When I took him to the eye doctor today. Like he'll sit on your lap for like 10 minutes and then he's like, Argh! like he just wants to crawl around and investigate. Yeah. He doesn't want any kind of lap business for that long. No lap business. Too adventurous, dude. Yeah. No, he ain't doing it. Yeah, but at this age, it would suck to travel with him. Even though I met oh that guy who was like, oh, yeah, we went to Paris with our five month old. I was like, what? Yeah. You went to Paris with him? You know, I, th- I, I guess those people have a much stronger constitution than you and I because I, yeah. the, the thought of it is, it sounds like a nightmare to me. I think we're those just people not, just. We're not built for that. We're not. We're not. I think you can just be like, yeah, it's going to suck and I'm going to do it anyway. We're the type of people that need like a perfect smile, but yeah. not. Not to be like, you know, stressed out on a plane. <laughs> you cannot eat with that on your date. There's no way you can I eat. didn't eat. I went on a date with this. Yeah. By the way, the date went great. I think she really <laughs> liked me. And I just didn't eat, you know. And she was like, aren't you going to order something? And I was like, All right, I, ate, I ate, had a late lunch. I had a late lunch, so I, I don't have much of an appetite. Right. And I got the job with my perfect smile. And she goes, what about, she goes, can I get a kiss goodnight? I go, I, I'm not one to rush to, to, <laughs> to do that. So maybe on a second date, and I'll take it out and give her a kiss goodnight. Hello. Yeah. I got what, the what? job with my perfect smile. You got, a, you got the job? How was the interview? We, we <laughs> That's good. No, I got a word of a group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You look like somebody I would hire. As soon as I saw that, I was like, she's got a nice smile. I think I'm going to hire her. A nice smile. Or a perfect smile. Perfect. That girl's got a perfect smile. Who do you want to work? (laughs) Who do you want representing your company? Is it this guy? Wait. (laughs) Mm. You know, it's so crazy. Is that the whites of your eyes match the whiteness of those teeth, but it makes you look dead. Mm. Kind of like the Dennis, um, what's his name, that runs the, the, the bunny ranch? Oh, yeah. Dennis Hoff. Yeah. That's what happens when your teeth are like fake, fake, fake looking white, and yeah. then they match the whites of your eyes. It makes you look like the Crypt Keeper. Yeah. You look dead. He looks really He looks crazy. terrible. Him and then you posted, did you post a picture of the that team owner that you liked with the haircut? Oh, Mark like Davis, that. yeah. <laughs> there he is, that dirty his pimp. His teeth are all... His, He's such a scum fuck. His teeth are too white now, you know? Ugh. Yeah, it looks terrible. Yeah. He looks dead, too, yeah. You know? Yeah, he can't be... Oh, me. man. Oof. <clears throat> Don't look good. Old ass pimp. Yeah, he's gross. He really is an old pimp. He's so gross. Look how he's holding that chick's neck. Ugh. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, he's a creeper. He was creepy on that show. He was. Yeah. Ugh. I got my perfect smile. We were so excited when this showed up. The perfect smile. Uh, it's only fifteen ninety nine, and then fifteen ninety nine for shipping and handling. Such scumbags. Yeah, because if you're broke enough that you need the perfect smile, you can't afford fifteen dollars in shipping. I think this is back when he had his teeth. See, mm. it looks better. To so much have. better. Yeah. So much better because then that matches the oldness of yeah, his face. They're even like a little, you know. Yeah. A little Brooklyn. jaggedy. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about Mark Davis. Mark Davis. Yeah, that guy looks good too. Teeth. Let's see if he's smiling. Mm. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so crazy. Uh, yeah, he uh, uh, he had a oh, real... Well, there he is kind of, but actually... <laughs> Remember how it said he drives 500 miles to get this haircut? Yeah, he does. Yeah, those teeth aren't good. No. Those are weird teeth. He's got a lot of money. He should afford better teeth. Oh, yeah. my God. $500 million. He's got $500 million. Just spend a few of those dollars on teeth, bro. And a haircut. Cool haircut. And a cool haircut. Somebody said, I think I said it back then, that if uh, he's the kind of guy 
that if people stopped talking about his haircut, he would change it. Oh, but right. because people are like, that guy's cut your hair. He's like, nope. Like that's his thing, yeah. his personality thing. Is yeah. If you tell me to do it, I'm yeah. not going to do it. Well, that and I think you're maybe hurting yourself on that one, though. Yeah, that and it makes you more interesting. That's your th- your hook. Yeah, it's like the guy that has the exotic Wait, pet. Who's that guy? That looks like he's retarded because yeah. of his haircut. <laughs> like, he's an interesting guy. His name's Mark. Right. Let's go talk to him. Right. It's like the guy that walks down Venice Beach with a snake around his neck. Yeah. And he and he does it because people or a go bird or, or something. Yeah. parrot. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just my thing. People I got a lizard on a, yeah, I keep it around my neck. Right. And you can pet it. It's cool. Yeah. I feed them fucking rats every day. Yeah. <laughs> South Beach too. There's a lot of that. Mm-hmm. I got an iguana, a pet iguana around my neck. Seems unusual. Well, I'm kind <laughs> of an unusual guy. I'm kind of weird like that. Like, yeah. okay. Just a little misdirected energy. A little bit. A little, little bit. Um, Let's see. Somebody, there's some emails here. Which YMH song should these mommies train their kid to? Someone said. I'm about to become a mommy myself. Our Carl's Jr. is due March 2nd. <laughs> That's not right around the corner. Um, my friend recently recommended to me to begin a song, to sing a song every day to Baby Jeans. And then when Baby Jeans is born, it will recognize the song, go to sleep. She said it worked for her, so why not give it a try? My husband and I have been trying to figure out which your mom's house song would best suit this instance, and we were hoping to have some insight from the main mommies. Husband is leaning towards Red Red Wine. <laughs> I tend to lean towards Miami Fart Machine, but worry it might be too energetic for Carl's Jr. to go to sleep to. <laughs> Thoughts, suggestions, Carl's thank Jr. you, Katie and Ryan. Like a lullaby. Yeah, well, something that auto, you know, they sure. hear it and they're like, oh. Blessed. Right. I mean, conga, the, the fart conga. But she's right. That's pretty that's high, energy. high energy. For going to sleep. Come on. Mm. I agree. I like Theo's jam. Yeah? It's 10, uh, 10, 10 times 10 with the S on the end. I'm from the hundred lot. Vodka yeah. gin. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Or, um, ah, my fucking cunt. My cunt, my cunt, my that cunt. That might be a lot for a little, you don't think it's a lot for ah, a little my child? my fucking cunt. Hmm. No? That seems... Really aggressive for uh, for a kid, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, I love you, mommy. <laughs> Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. What about Hi, that mommy. Uh, that fart song? Mm-hmm. That oh my gosh, that's a oh good nice song gosh. to go to sleep to. Oh my gosh. That is a good one. That's a yeah, great song. Yeah. Oh my um, gosh. Held in the Naw. That's good. That's kind of That's kind of it. I think yeah. you got it. It's good. Which is clearly modified <laughs> sample of um what's that Marvin Gaye song? All right. You know what I'm talking about? Well, yeah. They all sound like that yeah. Marvin Gaye song. Yeah, but that's wow, definitely wow, wow. Um, whatever. I can't think of the name of the song. I know. Do you know what I'm talking about or no? I do, but I don't know the titles to any Marvin Gaye songs, really. Okay. Anyways, it's making me crazy. Um, <coughs> yeah, I think my cunt's uh, really... I think Hell to the Naw is great because it's a positive message for a child to establish healthy Sexual boundaries. Sexual when I get that feeling. right, yeah. Oh, that's right. It's a it's a good s- song to teach somebody boundaries. Hell no, you teach that baby. You yeah. know, hey, you want to go with strangers? No, mm-hmm. hell to the no. Come on, come on, come on. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Now. My name is your bullwagger. From the first church, nothing but the truth. All right, baby. You got your bath. You got a to- read you a book. You got your uh, bottle. Drink your bottle and then thank God for the blood warming in my veins. Thank God for my life, health, and strength. I got a sound mind. I'm not insane. Come on, come on. I ain't going to preach too long. I ain't going to take the service too far. Feels good. My sermon this morning. Hell to the no, no, no. Come on, come on. Come on. Hell no. To the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. I think it's great. It's a good song. 
I'm on board. I yeah. think it's a great song. I, I think it really is. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any. You want to have an old guy show you where his bathing suit covers? Hell no. You teach the kid. Hell right. no. To the no, no, no. Right. Um, you want to do drugs? Hell no. To the no, no, no. Yeah, no. Uh, go ahead, boy. I don't know. That might be a bit much, right? A lot with that jack and that dick. Yeah. No, maybe not you dick jacking for the baby. Yeah. Well, you gotta do it. Yeah. Right now. For me. Stroke it, dick boy. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. No. What the fuck is this? Oh, diabetes. diabetes. Yeah. Diabetes. It's a good one. It's good. Cautionary but tale. <laughs> Cautionary tale. I don't know if it's a bit much for going to sleep. Diabetes. See? Yeah. It's a little subdued. No, I think hell to the gnaw. Yeah? Hmm. Um, well, here's what you at first suggested. Oh, my fucking God. It's patriotic. No. Oh, my fucking cut. Yeah. yeah. For a baby to go to sleep to. They don't know the words yet. No. But they're crying too. They cry along with the song. Right. Yeah. Ah. Oh, you're both crying. Yeah. Different reasons. It's such a great song, though. It's so good, right? I like when the beat kicks in. Let's go. Ready? Ready? Two, three, and four. Sexy. <laughs> it's sexy. <laughs> uh, we've had hundreds God, of so songs good. submitted now, and that's still in the top. Jeans and My Cunt top is five for top sure. five easy. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I think that's Max Newman. Yeah. Is that right? I think so. Um, Look, but Obi-Wan Cannoli's got the, the hits. The Ghost Crew's got the hits. Yeah, Max too. Max has done a Max few. Max has got the hits. Obi, yeah. I mean, these are all heavy hitters of yeah. the YMH crew. Yeah, definitely. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I think that's a good uh, wake up in the morning song. That's a fun song, yeah. That's how you start your day. So Hell to the Nas, is the lullaby at night, and yeah. then City Connection is the good morning. I good think morning. so. Yeah, unless you want it to be... Oh, this is this is another uh, timeless yeah. classic. Oh my god! I absolutely love this one, just musically. Oh my god! Oh my god! And they still haven't dropped that the farts are the instrument. Right. Oh my god! It's incredible about this. It's incredible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. It's incredible. You want to hear uh, Peter Stain? Yeah, I feel like this could be a club hit, like a legit. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Can I tell you what I would love to do? Is if I had, hold on, press pause for a minute. I have a good thought. Yeah. Is that if I had like a radio station hookup, I would give them, oh my gosh. Yeah. And be like, just start playing. This is just the new Lady playing. Gaga song. Yeah. yeah. And not tell anybody it's like a, a YMH song. And I, I think that song is good enough and clubby enough that people will be like, yeah, this is a fucking jam. Do you hear that, oh my gosh? Yeah. <laughs> They're that new instrument. No one even knows what it is. It's fucking dope. <laughs> okay. I love Peter Stain too. Yeah. This is hilarious. We played the horns in a while. Yeah. 
I'm Peter Stain. I also make some art. <laughs> Dead baby elephant. I can say whatever I fucking want. <laughs> I'm Peter Stain. The biggest pussy. I love the old hog store. I'm Peter Stain. I also make some art. Dead baby elephant. I can say whatever I fucking want. I'm Peter Stain. The biggest pussy. I love the old hog store. I shit on myself. It's disgusting. It's gross. I don't want to wear diapers. My brown say hello. I'm sad in my fucking head. Can't control my aggression. I ripped a woman's arm off. Refer to me as eccentric. You don't like art. Man, what a dick. What the fuck is the matter with you, dude? Like, I give a fucking shit. I love being a racist. Fucking redneck intellectuals. Get the fuck out of here. I don't really care what your opinion is. Christina said mean stuff, like really mean stuff. I'm getting all emotional. Man, what the fuck? Oh my God. Jesus Christ, sorry, okay. <laughs> fuck, no, oh! What emotional stuff. I love smoking crack. Yeah, Hennessy swigging. And I love the mom's house podcast. Don't you get it? It's Don't so you good. you get it? It's so good. You think I um, give a fucking shit? That's Peter Stain. Um, that's Obi-Wan. Peter Stain. Obi-Wan, man. Yeah. He made that Killing one, man. Killing the game. Yeah. The cannoli. Did did great, These man. These songs, man, they're so good. Yeah. Really talented people. I mean, really the Orlando Airport. <laughs> right. The Orlando Airport. The Orlando Airport. <laughs> the Orlando Airport. <laughs> Now, the best uh, of uh, the Top so Dog good. ones is the trance, I think. I think this is the one. <laughs> yes. Matthew Miller. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is amazing. Okay. Okay. It's it's incredible. Yeah. Um, These dogs got to eat their yeah, dinner. I know. Schnitzel's standing there like, hello. I'm going to let love... them out real quick. Oh, you are? Okay. Go ahead. <coughs> let them out. Hey, let guys. them out. Let those dogs out. Let's see. Hi, mommies. Uh, what? All right. Do you like how she just... Oh, by the way, you know what um, an Irish lady said to me? Um, an Irish lady said to me after a short, one of the shows in New York. What's that? She goes, I don't mean to be two ends of a cunt, but do you mind <laughs> if I take a picture? Oh, that's good. Two ends of a cunt. I've never, never heard, heard, that. heard that. Dan either. Pena would love that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a special one. Two ends of a cunt. That's funny. Couldn't believe it. Um, Too much, mummies. Well, uh, the sun's see? going down. That means the trick or treaters are going to start coming soon. Oh shit! Yeah, we we're, gotta get our candies ready. We're um, yeah. We're I got ready. good candy, by the way. I didn't get fucking bullshit. I got Reese cups and Snickers. Mm. Those are two high value treats. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Nothing worse than shitty candy, right? Drink That's the top such layer. a bummer. How many itchy assholes? It's trying to play with the real sexual predator. It's trying to play chunky. It's trying to play with oh. naughty filled toilet paper. The urine from two dirty homeless men. It's trying to bite my butt with your mucus. Homeless jars. I've of been have sex with your sister. Take it in the face. Vinegar strikes. The grandmother walks in on you masturbating. Never have another orgasm. Uh, Jeans, would you rather lose your voice and only be able to speak through soundboard drops from the podcast for a month? <laughs> yep. Or have to talk like Top Dog for a year? Uh, what's wrong with Top Dogs talking? Well, that's the dilemma, I guess, if you want to talk like Top Dog for a year, buddy. Or just sound drops. 
But that's for a month. Every communicate everything with a soundboard. I know. It's like, oh my fucking cunt. Oof. Um, I guess I do top dog just because uh, you can still talk like a person. I mean, people would be like, why are you talking like a older white guy? But yeah, I'm almost there. So I feel like it's really easy for me to. You're really close. Yeah. Yeah, to top dog. People keep telling me too. They're like, oh, you sound a lot like your dad. Yeah. Like you're sounding more like him. So. Yeah. Becoming a dad makes you your dad. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yep. It's kind of depressing though, right? A yeah, little bit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Once you start to process it, you're like, oh shit. Dude, totally. You're yeah. you're zoning like him a little bit too. Ch- check out. <laughs> what's that? What's that, buddy? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I was nothing. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That one's an easy one. Yeah. What do you pick? No, definitely. Just talk like my dad like for a him. year. No. A month of fucking answering questions from a sound. <laughs> like, can you That's imagine tough. trying to express yourself? All day like that? That would be horrible, man. You have to search for the drop. Hey, yo! I left a wallet there. You know? Right. That's really God weird. God damn it. You're just talking like that? It's just weird. Oh. Oh, oh, my God. It's hard to talk like that, I think. Yeah. Today. Big words. That's a lot. It's hard. Yeah. How do you communicate? You couldn't ask for anything. <clears throat> no, you'd have to build words you'd have to build new sentences with the words that you had it would take forever would you rather have to start every conversation talking retarded <laughs> yeah. or start every conversation talking in a baby talk oh that's tough where you're like I get boo good that papa like you would talk to bitsy or fifo hi boo boo like that yeah. or uh, hi boo talking retarded i don't know what that means does that mean and like- toggling retard uh, like Stevie's girlfriend. Well, the thing is, I think people would really look at you so much crazier if you started talking retarded, as opposed to, uh, to baby. They'd be like, "This is eccentric." Yeah. If you talk retarded, if you were like, "I want to go right, down," right, then right. people would be like, "Whoa, oh, dude!" I think right. people would just walk away from you. And well, what I would do is, or they think you're mocking them more. Mocking, yeah. I would carry a dog with me at all times. Yeah, you have two. You could have one of them. One for each hand. Yeah. And then I could just be like, and they'll think I'm just talking to the dog. Yeah, yeah. Because talking retarded, that's a hard segue. Yeah, it is. Sure is. I mean, you still haven't incorporated that into your act, which I feel like would increase the value. Uh, uh, the retarded, the biggest retarded community. You want to move tickets? Yeah, yeah. Talk to your agent. Just see what he thinks. Let's uh, see what Andrew thinks about this idea. I like the idea. Andrew, <laughs> thinking about doing a whole retarded act. <laughs> See, I, I can't see him not thinking it would go well. So I would take the baby talk, by the way. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm home. Yeah. Hi, boobies. Hi, schnitzel. Hi, pretzels. Mm-hmm. So that's how I'd walk in. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi. See, they would just think like, oh, he's like a sweet, Like a nice, weird, yeah. dopey guy. But if you go, hi, everybody. Oh, well, that's kind of fun here. See, I feel like I... I liked it. It was funnier when you did <laughs> it. They would also look at you like, why are you doing that? You know? Right. More so, I think. Like, It says start every conversation. It's a very specific would you rather. Mm-hmm. Right? Which is good. It's good to be specific. What do we have for dinner? And then they go, um, I'll have chicken. And then you go, yeah, I'll have chicken too. And they're like, wait, <laughs> what was that? See, I think from a comedic perspective, I would choose retarded. But from a life perspective, the baby talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, would you rather? Ooh, it already starts off. Starts off good. Would you rather have to wear wet socks all day? For I hate a week it. I hate it. That you can't take off for bedtime. God damn it! Ooh, that is terrible. terrible. Or would you rather have all your meals by chewed, be chewed by each other, and fed like a baby bird for a week? I like that one. So wet socks or your fed food? Like I chew it up. I know. Enough. I got it. I understand Spend what baby amount. birding is. Do you know that? Um. Some so like famous, I would chew it up. You know who was doing that? I would that? chew it up, and then I would chew it up, and then I would then I would chew it up, and then I would put it in your mouth. I think there was after a, chewing it up. The girl that did Clarissa explains it all that show. I think she was pre chewing. No, no, uh, it was the hot girl from the nineties in that um, Aerosmith, the Clueless girl, Alicia Silverstone. Silverstone. She was baby birding her child, uh, pre mastication, where she would chew the food and then put it in her kid's mouth. And she was an advocate of that. Disgusting. I think it's so <laughs> gross, though. So gross that I would actually take the wet socks. So would I. Because, I mean, I would vomit if you're chewing I would food. vomit. Spitting. 
And I think, uh, and you're supposed to do it for a week. I mean, I just, you know what? The wet socks is horrible, but it's like anything you kind of adapt after. Mm-hmm. You, you know. just wouldn't, you get, and you you wouldn't sleep the first night and yeah. you'd be so tired by the second night that yeah. you your body would just shut down but and it you get used to it. It is the worst. It is Especially the worst. Especially when you put on fresh ones Fuck. and you're ready to leave and you step, no. yep. you step in a spot. You're like, God, God damn, damn it. And you have to change. Yeah. That's no, it's misery. That is misery. It's one of the small, humongous inconveniences. I mean, I know people yeah. are talking about this whole Syrian situation, <laughs> but I feel like wet socks is even more. The biggest problem. Yeah. Your dad talked about that in Vietnam um, when he would have, you have yeah. wet socks in your boots. That's it's right. Like trench foot or something, Yeah, right? you, you dry your socks out, yeah. Ugh. Your Ugh. feet would get all fungusy. That's like the, that's one of the biggest problems so they had. So you get dad feet. Dabby. My dad's got them feet. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It looks like he's spent years in Nam with those nails. <laughs> um, all yellow and nasty. All right, we got to run, James. Why you got me so nasty, Tom? You got me so nasty. Thank you guys for listening to the show. Please visit the new store. Um, you can get through to it. You can go to TomSeguro.com, click on the store. Your mom's house podcast.com, click on the store. We're now part of Merch <laughs> Method. Uh, we have the new DJ Dadmouth shirt up, and we restocked a bunch of shirts. Bikes has been restocked. Um, yeah, that was just a, a oh, okay, thing. cool. Um, Ooh, that was a couple other, yeah, it's fine. A couple like other ones, off. uh, re restocked. I think it was a high and tight, maybe a FIFA one. So those are ready to go. Please check out the store and thank you to all the Patreon subscribers, patreon.com slash mom. A few bucks gets you an extra episode of your mom's house every month. So thank you everybody for listening to that we gotta go we gotta go um, celebrate hollow jeans hollow jeans is here this is a uh, dj stanimom uh also mm, known as guy title. with uh bite the end of your dad's dick off um here we go i love it thank you guys for listening there goes faith downstairs well why don't you bite the end of your dad's dick off the end of your dad's dick off bite End your dad's dick off. Your dad's dick. Fight the end. End your dad's dick off. End your dad's dick. Fight the end. Your dad's dick. Smear, smear the blood, blood all over <laughs> this place. Fight the dad's dick. Fight the dad's dick. Fight the dad's dick. Fight the end. Fight the end of your dad's dick. Fight the end of your dad's Fight the end of your dad's dick. Fight the end of your dad's dick off. Fight the end of your dad's dick. Smear the blood, blood all over <laughs> your face. <laughs>